Hello everybody, Calvin Nation here today with a brand new video for you guys. Today's video is going to be a little unboxing. I bought two items from Warriors and Wonders. I got them just today. I just got home from work and uh, today is Friday uh, the 18th. This will probably be posted tomorrow. So again, two items from Warriors and Wonders and let's get it opened up. I'll be using my SOG Flash 1 to open it. Okay, so what we have here is, and you might be able to see the Urco of the Spyderco Sharp Maker here. There we are. Everyone's got to have these if you're if you're a serious knife collector. I've put this off for too long now, and. Uh, Finally broke down and purchased this. I've been debating it for a couple months now, and you know my knife collection's getting up there. And I decided to get one of these. And you know this is kind of the the top of the top of the line sharp sharpener. So really glad I have that now. A couple knives I need to to sharpen up. So that's really good there. Spiderco sharp maker. And like always, expect reviews on these shortly. And our second item we have here is a cold steel. Now this is my first cold steel knife I've actually ever bought. This is the True Flight Thrower. This is a throwing knife from Cold Steel. And like I said, it's my first cold steel knife I've ever bought because I always kind of feel like cold steels are a little bit gimmicky, I don't know. Maybe it's those uh, weird little videos they make, but something about them is it just doesn't really interest me too much. But I've already had some experience with this knife, the True Flight Thrower. Uh, my buddy Shabone has it, that's his YouTube name. Um, and uh, I was pretty good with it. And one of my other friends uh, here on YouTube as well, he was looking into a throwing knife and he was talking to me about it and uh, he decided to go with this one after a little bit of um, browsing the uh, the market and he got uh, talking to me and he was looking into some to some other throwing knives and I was telling him about uh, this one um, and talking about how my other buddy has it and after a little bit more investigation we decided to get this one or actually again he decided to get it and you know and just talking about it and looking at this on on the internet it just I had to get it and that always happens to me again I always just happen to break down and get something that uh, you know I've just been kinda looking into like airsoft I always had that I would look at something on the internet and just man I just had to get it and this is what you know this is how I felt with this one so I'm glad I could finally get this I've always like this, I've just kind of been on the edge. I've always kind of wanted to get this, and up until now, I, I've put it off. So finally, I've got uh, my first thrower and my first cold steel. Um, again, I'm glad to, uh, you know, have a first in both of those categories there. So here is the knife. It's a bit oiled up there. It's a pretty nice looking knife, and. You know, a cool thing about this is it's very, um, you know, usable for other situations. This is not just a throwing knife, and I guess you could say that for for most uh, throwing knives anyway, but, uh, you know, this is a useful knife for, for other tasks, other, other cutting tasks. It's also got this uh, paracord uh, wrapped handle, which is cool. And this is going to be cool, because I, uh, I haven't thrown this for a long time. Like I said, I, I threw it at my friend's house a whole bunch of times, and... You know, I got used to it. It's pretty fun, and I can't wait to test it out. But it's going to be cool getting back to it again. Um, so definitely I'll have a review on this as well. Um, also some videos on uh, me throwing it in the future as well. I'll probably wait till a little bit more warmer weather for that, but uh, stay tuned for that. Um, also, if you're wondering what that uh, that crap on my hands is, it's just uh, it's some glue, I guess, some paste from work. I was working with... Uh, Blue skin, it's this uh, water sealant for roofs. 
So uh, I got a whole bunch of the glue you used to adhere it to the wall with on my hands. So <laughs> just if you're wondering. So guys, there's my two new um, buys of the day. Also, you guys are probably wondering here what this is. This is a polishing paste. I was recommended to get this from some guys at the Flipping Arena. Um, my 47, uh, my Benchmade Model 47 is a little bit uh, scratched up, so I decided to get some polishing paste, asked some guys on the arena what one was good. They recommended me to this, so uh, I used it already, and it actually works very well, so I'm happy with that. There will also probably be a review on this as well. I just got this a couple days ago. I'll probably use it on my 42 as well. But uh, that's cool there. So three new things. Hopefully three new reviews. And uh, again, stay tuned for those. Again, hopefully some throwing videos on these. So thanks guys for uh, tuning in. And I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you for the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.